What is your guest opinion about haptoglobin 2.2 versus cardiovascular risk reportedly as being 500% increase? Some studies say it's not. This is a good question, and we actually happen to have the doctor who designed the assay for this. I think you also know him, James. That's Dr. Vigorist, who actually built the test for haptoglobin. And so we have a lot of science around this. It's quite simple, actually. And I think, again, we can share the chart with you on the studies that were published. Mm -hmm. So basically, haptoglobin, when pre a diabetic individual has HP22, so there's a certain subset of people here, certainly that we have to zoom in on. And so if you're diabetic, and you have HP22, you have an elevated risk. It's scoring somewhere between 500 to 1,000%. So basically it just means you have a significantly uplifted risk of heart disease. And the reason for that, and I'd, I'd love for Dr. Brewer to even do a show on haptoglobin screening, because I think it's very underrated and, and underutilized. The answer here is that in essence, your hemoglobin doesn't shed. And so think about it as almost rusting, for lack of a better word, and bring up the car analogy again. And so for people who are HP22, over-the-counter vitamin E therapy, of 400 IUs administered over even just 90 days brings that threshold of risk back down to baseline. So whatever you might have had as a baseline heart risk, you're now back there. The flip side of that is that if you're not HP22 and you're 2-1, then that vitamin E therapy actually can play against you. So there's a three answered version of this report, right? Are you HP1, are you two, and then which of those twos are you? So this is a very important test to run. And again, for HP22, which approximately 40% of people are HP22. If you're diabetic, that vitamin E therapy will absolutely help you. If you're not, that vitamin E therapy could hurt you. And so without having enough HP2 screening going on, you start to hear things like, oh, if you're diabetic, you just have an elevated increased risk of heart disease. We're not doing a good enough job to explain why that's happening. And so one thing we wanna do with I'm Aware is work to bring down this cost of this genetic test from the hundreds of dollars that it is today to something where we could run a rapid test to determine if you're one or two and then for those that are two run the blood test genetic test to see if you're two two right so we want to work to really solve this because i think there's a lot of people walking around who just don't understand but you know what does haptoglobin from a genotyping perspective play in heart disease risk no primary care doctors you know know about it that we've ever canvassed the insurers are unaware of the benefit to a patient populace if they could screen for this there's very little known about it so i appreciate you raising that i'd love to see a topic dedicated to that where we could bring in to weigh in on this Winning is exciting, but you know what? What you're winning matters even more. How about the chance to win another couple of decades of life, healthy life, understanding the cause of heart attack, stroke, dementia, the major killers and disablers, and how to prevent those? You can win these courses to do just that. How do you do that? Click the link below, watch the video, answer the questions, and the more you answer right, the better your chances of winning. Give it a try. Win things like free courses that can save your life.